Greetings everyone, this is Lord Folker here with another Minecraft plugin tutorial video. This plugin is MMO Items, created by Team Requiem, and is a core plugin for any MMO RPG server. The purpose of the plugin is to be able to create any item, weapon, or armor that you desire, as well as many other features that will naturally exist in any MMO RPG. In this video, I'll be going over item types, as well as the creation of item templates. In this video, I'm using Minecraft version 1.18.2, with the MMO Items update 6.7.3. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. When taking a look at the weapons, there are three main types of damage that this plugin offers. Slash attacks, which cause a cone of damage behind the initial strike, caused by swords, great swords, katanas, axes, great axes, and halberds. Pierce attacks are caused by thrusting swords, daggers, spears, and lances. And finally, blunt damage, which deals area of effect damage around the target, which is caused by hammers, Great hammers, gauntlets, which can stun entities using right click, loots, staves, and great stabs. Offhand items are the only items that can give the player their stats or attributes when being held in the offhand. The items that allow this are the tomes, catalysts, talismans, off catalysts, shields, and the great shields. The accessory items only apply their stats when placed in a non vanilla inventory slot, such as seen in the plugin RPG inventory or other plugins like it. Weapons that promote the ability to attack from a distance are wands and stabs, which cast magic attack damage, bows, great bows, whips, crossbows, and muskets. Items that cause effects when worn would be the armor category. The tools allow for custom enchants. The, cus the consumables are items that are consumed on right click, such as food or health potions. Miscellaneous is for any needed purpose that you really have. Gemstones are for item socketing, and lastly, Materials, which are used in crafting for any of the previous items. However, you are not just limited to these item types, but can actually create your own in the configs within the item types config using this format. So, if we go into our plugins folder, MMO items, and then into the item types right here, scroll down to where the item types are, be that line 340 ish. Okay, 322. So we can see that we have the default subtypes here. So let's just go ahead and create a new type. So let's use this format right here. So let's say we want to create a short sword. So let us. Okay, so you can see we have the long sword, long sword, all that. Short sword, short sword, katana, katana. We can edit any other lore that we want, but we now have a new category. So, let's save that. As you can see, let's see here. Okay, so we go back here, then slash MMO items reload. Okay, as you can see, item types have now been reloaded. Um, so let's go into slash MMO items browse. And let's look around in here. So we'll set as a iron sword. Oh, there it is. As you can see, when we add this to our config and save it, once we reload the plugin, we will now have a new category listed in the MI browse ready for us to edit to our heart's content. You can create as many new categories as you desire. Begin creating items referred to the first episode of the series. Taking a look at item templates, we first need to understand what they actually are. When you create any kind of item, whether it is a sword or helmet, you are in fact creating a template of the item. The plugin allows you to generate random items based on the item that you have created. This is done through a list of item modifiers that are randomly picked and applied to the item, resulting in various items of different rarity, even though the item's normal stats and information are still present. For instance, when taking a look at the configs for a weapon that we have created, we'll see that we have a base section, but what we can also do is add in an options section. So we'll just press enter here, go up, and then paste that in there. In fact, paste that by two. So here, you can see that we now have our option and base section as well as the options available to us. The base config section corresponds to the base item stats. For example, the base item is an iron sword which name is long sword. The default attack speed is 1.6 and the weapon has 6 attack damage increased by 1.5 points for every item level. The option config section is used to configure a few additional options for your template. Item generation templates can be found under the MMO items slash generator slash item folder. You may add as many YML configs as you want in that folder to sort your templates. 
to add new item options, be sure to enable them under the config where it says option right here. There are three types of options available. Role modifier check order, which will scramble the item modifiers list on item generation. The tiered option, which allows for a random tier to be picked for the item if none is specified. This not only accounts for the MI generate command, but also for station and crafting recipes. And lastly, level item, which will select a random item level that will be picked for your item if none is specified when originally generated. That is all there is to the item types and templates, but in future videos we'll be going over additional stats and options to apply to items and how to correctly organize them for beautiful and realistic items. I hope that this video helped, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Until next time.